Our word is good as gold. This is the motto of the Golden Company, a group of SOC cell swords that may just be entering the show in episodes to come. How's everyone doing on this fine weekend? The Professor of Thrones is back. Today we're going to be talking about the Golden Company. If you remember back to the last episode, Cersei, when speaking with a representative from the Iron Bank of Braavos, mentions the Golden Company. Now, many people were confused as to what this organization actually is, and justifiably so, it hasn't been mentioned in the show up to this point. However, book readers have become somewhat familiar with this concept. It does evolve a little back research for them as well, but it's not a group that's too foreign to their comprehension. So before we can dive into the Golden Company, we have to dive into an individual by the name of Agor Rivers, otherwise known as Bittersteel. Back during the height of Targaryen rule in Westeros, Aegor Rivers was a legitimized Targaryen bastard. He was involved in a large-scale Westerosi geopolitical conflict known as the Blackfyre Rebellion. The series of failed revolutions known as the Blackfyre Rebellions are an immensely complicated topic that I will be addressing in a separate video. However, what you essentially need to know for now is that they were a large-scale Targaryen civil war. Igor Rivers was allied with Daemon Blackfire, who was the loser in this revolution. He didn't succeed at his objection of taking the Iron Throne. So Igor, along with the youngest children of Daemon Blackfire, fled to Essos, as most failed Westerosi conquerors do. After this devastating blow to the Blackfire name, Igor can only sit helplessly and watch as multiple sellsword companies withdraw their support for Blackfire. Enraged and in desperation, he decides to form his own sellsword company, one that could robustly support the Blackfire name. He named this company the Golden Company. The Golden Company would go on to become one of the most prominent and successful sellsword companies, not only in Essos, but in the entire known world of Ice and Fire. It's based out of the Free Cities of Western Essos. The Free Cities are a collection of city-states that emerged out of the Doom of Valeria a couple of hundred years back. Although some remain in relative peace, a lot are constantly engaged in conflict with each other, which leads them to be a perfect breeding ground for sellswords, and one of the primary reasons why the Golden Company was developed in that area. To do the historical context behind its creation, the company is primarily comprised of individuals that were exiled from Westeros as well as their descendants. The one element that can be interpreted as the catalyst to the widespread success of the Golden Company is their unmatched trustworthiness. You see, in the world of Ice and Fire as well as in the real world, sellswords historically have not been a very trustworthy force. They have been known to shift their loyalties to whoever appears to be the highest bidder, regardless of if they are betraying anyone in the process. The Golden Company, on the other hand, prides themselves in having never broken a contract and being the most trustworthy and reliable sellsword company in the known world. In the show's timeline, this statement has remained completely true. In the newest book, A Dance with Dragons, however, we recently read about the first contract breaking that the Golden Company ever committed. Now, the Golden Company's role at this time in the book narrative is completely interconnected with a plotline known as the Young Griff story arc. This is an arc that the show hasn't even begun to dabble in, and therefore isn't really important to discuss here at this time. However, it's just simply too damn interesting to ignore, and I will definitely be making a video thoroughly explaining that entire arc in the near future. With Young Griff's story arc not being present at all in the show, there is nothing stopping Cersei from hiring the Golden Company to help defend her position in Westeros. It seems like the logical path that the showrunners are going to be taking, and I can't really see any other route for the Golden Company to take in the show's timeline, that is. I hope you enjoyed this brief but hearty explanation of the Golden Company. I hope this video will serve as a stepping stone of sorts into other explanation videos such as the Blackfire Rebellions and the Young Griff story arc. Time permitting, I'm hoping to get those to you in the near future. So if you are interested in hearing more about those, seeing some future episode breakdowns, or hearing anything you'd like to be explained, explained. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, share these videos with your friends, comment below, and remember, the Professor of Thrones is here to teach you.